All right, guys, we're playing some Rift in the top lane into a ranged matchup. We're playing against a Nardis game. Also, kind of a counter matchup because it's ranged, but again, it's very winnable. Um, this game, I want to show you guys the best lethality build right now because there's been some changes within the uh, the lethality builds because the Umbreal Glaive is nerfed and Eclipse has been changed a while ago. So I want to showcase you guys today what the best lethality build is. In short, we have the Conqueror page as always. We also have Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, two Adaptive, and also a Longsword. So obviously for the Lethality build, um, since Umbreal Glaive got nerfed a little bit, I don't like it anymore. It used to be my my absolute like favorite Lethality item to build, as you guys know. I've been talking a lot about it, making lots of videos about it, but... Change they did is... I don't know. Not happy with it. Um, anyway, what I would encourage you to build now is Eclipse. Okay. Good start. By the way, they got a Lilia in the jungle. Gotta be a little careful about Lilia. Actually. This is worth trading for. I could probably burst in level 3. I could have killed him there. I could have had him. Oh, I still get him. <laughs> the ignite still killed him. That must have been really close then. Ah, okay. I'm quite surprised that still turned out to be a kill. That's quite impressive. Hmm. Let's go back here. So, um, for the full lethality build, I highly encourage you guys to go for Eclipse right now. Eclipse is by far currently the best item to go to go with. Um, let's go for Thorn's Blade here, and then also another Longsword, and that's it. There you go. Alright, so... Um, Usually, if you're going for Gore Drinker, I always highly advise you guys, if you can purchase it, I encourage you to go pickaxe anytime you can um, in most of the matchups. Now, this game we're playing against um, Nar, and we're going to go Eclipse. And I could go for Serrated Dirk or Warhammer, but I actually want to have a Doran's Blade because it helps with the AD and HP. And then I also can get like another Longsword, so we're still getting a lot of damage off of it. Actually, I'd advise you to do that instead, instead of the regular serrated deer crush. It depends on the matchup still. That's the bone plating. Lilia is in mid lane, so we don't have to worry about her. Let's play this safe. Let's see where Lilia is going to path towards. Oh. Oh. That's an aggressive move. Not bad, man. Maybe we can get a trade off now. Uh, let's see here. I'll, s I'll try and stack the wave up from here. Need a I need the wave to be bigger. Drop this. I'm gonna all in this. Let's keep auto attacking it. Okay. Nah, not gonna do it. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but. Hmm, we have a Zack on the way. Okay, that's fine. I think he will probably walk back in, and then Zack can probably kill him. Either way, the wave is stacking up. He will definitely get a kill on this guy. Yep, the Zack's walking in. An 
And he got him. No assist for me, but that's alright. I don't I don't mind. I love how Nars playing the game with like ghost and flash. That makes it way harder for me to catch up to him. Let's go back here. And now we go for the Raided Dirk and also two Long Swords. Now, um, with Lethality builds, you always have the option, like, do you go for a Warhammer or do you go for Serrated Dirk? Now, typically for me, I always tend to go for Serrated Dirk right now because you just gain way too much damage from it. You can also go for Warhammer, which is a great alternative, but um, Serrated Dirk definitely provides more damage if that's what you're looking for. And all I care about is just maximizing damage because then I can all live better. If enemy makes like one mistake, I can all in and get a kill. Um, that's why I'm doing it. Nice, got the bone plating out. Now all we have to do is just get one good trade in and that's it. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay. Ooh, we can probably get a kill now. Let's hold the wave. Got my flashback. I'll be freezing the wave now. Oh, this is a kill for sure. Oh, he failed. Did not hit the key on the on the CS. Okay. <laughs> I'm popping like both of them to get this to get the movement speed out, but he's just too far off. <laughs> I'm like greeting so much to try and get kills on this guy, but he's just playing so safe now. Definitely has a decent brain what he's doing. Just kind of hoping he didn't. That's cute. I can dive him still, so no problem. Oh, really? I am getting ganked. And then that's how I die. I get oh man, I get Lilia right now, like now, just as I'm about to like kill Nar, dude. I was like getting him corn in a way that I could just do double cast him and kill him. I was like, I could run off technically, I could have done it, but it would be difficult because I had Lilia chasing me down. <clears throat> All right, dude. No problem. No problem. So good. Hey, yo, man, my teammates are popping up this game. I don't get to see that very often. Nice, man. I'm playing very greedy to get kills on Nar. But he's just playing Mega Save, bro. I'll be stacking the wave up. I'll make it as big as I can make it. The bigger the wave is, the um, more it's going to help me all in Ignar, or maybe even diving him. Killing spree. Nice. First, I need to get the bone plating down before I actually approach him. I just get one bone plating? No. And then it's charged up again. If I had the bone plating now, I would have actually killed him. Fortunately, no bone plating for me. Things will get easier once I have my boots. 
Yeah, that was true. I just need my boots, bro. That's it. Mm-hmm. See if I can get ah that also hits. Eh, you kidding? Gets away again. Mm. This Nara's gotten away quite a lot of times. Oh, dude, kidding. I'll go back. Okay, let's get my item. Dudes, this Nars got on away too often. Like, legit too often. Feels bad, man. To be honest, um, there were moments where I could have just uh, not played greedy and not used my some spells, and I'd probably end up winning harder, but I tried doing it anyway. Still has it. Ghost and Flash. How did he come up with this idea? Where'd you get this idea from? <laughs> Ghost and Flash, man. <laughs> I'm getting so greedy from playing as this guy. <laughs> I can't accept that this guy's playing with so much, with so much like. Movement speed and everything. Hmm. Finally, go down instantly, bro. I have s I've had so many attempts against him. Too many. Like he was gonna die at some point now. Nice. Well, getting the entire turret, I could do it. Do I want to? No, I'm going back here. Because the second that Nar's gonna come back to lane again, then I'm gonna be forced to stay because otherwise he can shuffle free, right? I wanna avoid that completely. Um, the next item we're gonna go with. So the typical build, the way uh, how that looks like is you're gonna go Eclipse. Then the second item is most likely going to be um, Ghostblade. Because for the, the, the movement speed that's roaming. And then the third item, I would go for Edge of the Night. Because you need to have an item that is protecting you. Also giving you more damage. Those are like the most important things for Lethality build. Yeah, look at look how safe this guy's playing. How can I not get greedy playing against this Nar? Like, look at the way how he's playing it. He's like standing like like thirty meters away from me, dude. How do I not get greedy playing against this guy? I don't know. I, I can't like I, I need to I need, I need to be greedy in this matchup. Look look how this guy's playing it. Look how far this guy's standing away. Got him. This guy's standing so far away, bro. Shut down. Okay. Get some, uh, let's get some of that turret. 
Shut down. get this one and now we reset real quick i can't try and cheese down nard um here i think that would probably work but there is a slight chance that he will probably still run off like it's very likely he will so it's not worth for me to stay because then uh he runs off i still have bought my items and then he can push again so I'm just preventing this Gnar from being able to force the lane against me without me having my items. Like, that's the worst thing you can do. Um, let's see if we can kill this now. Again, he's got the transform. Nice one. Let's see if I can get a kill on him. Hmm. I can't, I can't, I need, I need to be greedy on this guy. Man, he's playing so safe. I, I can't accept how safe this guy is playing. I think I'm just gonna run out of this lane. See you later. I will not play against that. <laughs> Have fun. I'll start splitting. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna go for a fight? Okay. Thank you. They will all die now. Because that will block them away from getting back to the turret. And that guy is also dead. Yeah, nice. We got the turret down. I need to get the wave real quick. Okay. So, now we're going to go Ghost Blade. And then after Ghost Blade, we're going to go for... Um... Aurelian Soul. It gets on my backboard. Um, so now we're going to go Ghost Blade. And after Ghost Blade, we go for Edge of the Night. Edge of the Night is very, very crucial, guys. If you're going to go uh, full lethality setup, you need to have Edge of Night. Because of the shield and HP and damage. It does not provide ability haste, but no one cares about ability haste here now. Like, we have enough already with the items we have currently. We don't need more ability haste. We have enough. I think they might already have vision. That's why they woke up like this. Got you. There is someone else up here. That's why Nar walked that way. Because I believe that uh, Thresh is up there. Push next wave.
Okay. And maybe there's also a blue buff. No. I'll take this camp then. We'll get advantages in some way. And also this camp. The more camps you can steal, the better. Because uh, the jungle will lose all of the camps. Yeah, this is like the type of stuff you can do when you're playing like fully Thaddeity Riffin. Like, that's why I like fully Thaddeity so much. It's completely different from what you're normally building. You know? Let's go here. <clears throat> Got it. And here. That Drake is gonna be really good. No. Oh. My teammates can fight the Drake if they want. I will not jump from the that wall right there. Because I'm, I'm not sure what's behind it. Mm. Okay. Definitely not going Drake. Oh? Huh? What? Huh? I don't know why she went that way. She could have easily went the other way, but I suppose she was probably scared of my team, like, existing in the jungle. I don't know. That was weird. Hey, either way, this is Riven Top with the holy Thaddeity setup. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.